Welcome to the Royal Academy of Arts in London. I'm Tim Marlowe and this is my pick of the best shows around the world this May. First, to Italy and the City of Water, where the 16th International Architecture Biennale is taking place. This year's Venice Biennale will be centred around the theme of free space. Curators Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara of Dublin-based Grafton Architects ask us to consider, quote, the question of space, the quality of space, open and free space. The Biennale will feature 65 national participations across the Giardini, Arsenale and City Beyond, seven of which will be present for the very first time, including Saudi Arabia, Lebanon and the Holy See. In addition, the usual rich selection of smaller and less constrained collateral events will help to ensure that the city is brimming with architectural propositions. The 16th Venice Architecture Biennale begins on the 26th of May. Next, to New York, where the Met is dressing for a blessing. Heavenly Bodies, Fashion and the Catholic Imagination will explore fashion's engagement with the devotional practices and traditions of Catholicism. The exhibition will feature around 40 ecclesiastical masterworks from the Sistine Chapel Sacristy, including vestments and accessories from the 18th to early 21st centuries, many of which will be shown for the first time outside the Vatican. These will be displayed with medieval art from the Metz collection and more than 150 clothing ensembles from the early 20th century to the present day, tracing Catholicism's influence on designers from Schiaparelli to Valentino. The exhibition is divided between the Met Fifth Avenue and the Met Cloisters and opens on the 10th of May. In Los Angeles, Iranian art, then and now, comes into sharp focus. The LA County Museum will explore ways in which Iranian artists have used and continue to use the country's rich and complex history as a metaphor for the present in an exhibition entitled In the Fields of Empty Days, the intersection of past and present in Iranian art. Identity, politics, faith, history and culture come into play across 125 works in a variety of media including photography, painting, sculpture, video, posters, political cartoons and illustrated manuscripts. Many of the 50 plus artists featured are active and working today, including Ferro Dunave, Parviz Tanavoli and Afsoon, and the show aims to illustrate the varied ways in which they engage with Iran's past. The exhibition opens on the 6th of May and looks to be an eye-opening one for many. Finally to England, where the lyrical work of Italian sculptor Giuseppe Pannoni will be set against the Yorkshire landscape. Pannoni, now in his early 70s, grew up in the Piedmont region of northwest Italy, and much has been made of the influence of the landscape and woodlands in his oeuvre. In Giuseppe Pannoni, a tree in the wood at Yorkshire Sculpture Park, five decades of the artist's practice will be represented through works occupying the 500-acre grounds and the underground gallery. The artist plays with material, scale and form, but it's the connection between humankind and nature that forms a common narrative. Highlights include acacia thorn canvases and his monumental tree sculptures, such as the 30 metre long Matrice, a bisected, carved and adorned fir tree which will run horizontally through the expansive indoor gallery. The exhibition opens on the 26th of May. So there you have it, my must-see selection of exhibitions from around the world this May. I do hope you get to see at least one of them.